Well, the first real surprise of the night happened with pick number three. We expected the Cardinals to trade down. We didn't expect the Texans to trade up. They get back to back number two, number three. With number two, they get their quarterback in CJ Stroud. Number three, they get Alabama edge rusher Will Anderson Jr. There were thoughts maybe he would slip behind Tyree Wilson. There was a thought that maybe he was rated a little too highly. Chris Sims wasn't a big believer in Will Anderson. D'Amico Ryan's the Texans coach and GM Nick Casario clearly were. And the Cardinals got a lot to fall from three to number 12. And it's smart. You know, this is a team that's done a bunch of stupid things, frankly, over the course of the last year, starting with the Kyler Murray homework clause in his long-term contract. But to get more lottery tickets, more opportunities to make your team better, extra first round pick next year, more stuff this year, more players that will come in and help your team. You never know who's going to hit. You never know who's going to miss. The more lottery tickets you have, the better chance you have to have a great team around your franchise quarterback that you hope will be there for a long time. Now the Texans hope that both C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson will be the anchors of their team for many years to come as they try to turn things around. You know, it is kind of funny. The two most dysfunctional teams in the NFL right now, the Texans and Cardinals, are the ones who do business at number three. We'll see how it works out for both of them moving forward.